Well, Harvard University, where all three of us went, now forcing inclusion, it says, by blocking students from being sports team captains if they're in a single-sex fraternity, sorority, or so-called finals clubs. They would also be banned from certain scholarships, including the Rhodes Scholarships and other campus opportunities. Does this make any sense? Well, we used to hang out in the Student Union yeah, together. We did. Fox News contributor Catherine Timth joins us now to get her reaction to all of this. So they, in this report in March by the school's task force mm -hmm. on sexual assault prevention yeah. says these clubs are deeply misogynistic and they have a strong sense of sexu sexual entitlement. So yeah, the all-female ones are also deeply misogynistic. This right. doesn't make any sense, especially because these aren't even officially recognized groups by the school. So where do you really draw the line with mm -hmm. this? Like, if you want to hang out with a bunch of girls, you want to hang out with a bunch of guys, right. you can't do that, you can't get a scholarship. Also, how is taking away scholarships from a school that costs more than 63000 a year making it more inclusive? Right, that's a great point. I mean, these are unofficial, <laughs> these are not sanctioned by the school, they're right. unofficial. Mm -hmm. So what other clubs you join? Maybe you're in archery. Maybe you mm -hmm. have an archery right. club that's all men. Is right. that part well, of this? Well, here, here's what Harvard is saying. This is from the Harvard University president saying the clubs in many cases enact forms of privilege and exclusion at odds with our deepest values. Um, um, obviously, they are continuing continuing to want to push the envelope there it's for equality. It's Harvard, not community college. Like, <laughs> but I think that's a good question of where do you draw the line, yes. right? I mean, at what point are we going to say we, we don't even need to have male and female sports teams? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that that's already going to be happening very soon because it's almost like these schools are in some sort of PC off competition. I don't think that they really actually think it's going to make that big of a difference in terms of improving anything. They're just saying, look at us. Look how inclusive we are look how culturally sensitive we are and that's really what's behind all of these so on of the things. one hand you think what's well, Harvard so who cares because if you go to Harvard all is lost anyway well, you know what I mean and these are like entitled I just they're people. saying our commitment to inclusion of like. course <laughs> but the principles as you suggest do matter so mm -hmm. since we're enforcing this principle that no one should exclude anyone else on the basis of anything I assume they're applying the same standard to the race specific organizations they have on campus too right right obviously not because it's a, not about logic it's about this PC off that they're having saying hey look at us gender discrimination we're not going to allow this to happen but really what they're doing is taking away opportunities that students could have based on if they want to hang out with all women or all men sometimes which I think very normal what's driving this was mm. there a group of women that really wanted to be a part of a fraternity and they were shut down or is this is this one person complaining this were there a lot of sexual assaults coming out of the fly club there that right this is this is just what people talk about now they say hey let's look around for something that could be a problem or be skewed as discrimination and that's what happens when that's all you're talking about and all you're thinking about logic goes out the window because you have to think too hard about what can be offensive. Microaggressions. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm just not sure what they're trying to get out of this one. No. When I think of sororities, I think of my girlfriend sitting right. around talking about how hot Ryan Gosling is eating <laughs> yeah. cookie dough. I mean, mm -hmm. you're telling me you know you can't run for that's, office. That's yeah. my yeah. college doing. I just Well, that's a that. disqualifying <laughs> activity. No cookie dough for you. Yeah. <laughs> Tucker was Thanks, eating cookie Kat. dough. That was <laughs> a lot of it. Thanks, Kevin. A little pizza parties. Thanks.